What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. Guess where we are today? We are in the pan room. I'm actually peeking through one of the shelves. Um, we have done a few projects in here. We talked about a few that we were doing last week. We got them finished. The pan room is ready to be loaded up with all our cookware and kitchen gadgets and all that fun stuff so we can make this the true pan room. We've also been working on some shelf liner in the kitchen. You guys know I hate doing that job, but we've been doing that to get the um, kitchen prepared so we can cook in it. So what's up, it's Wednesday. Let's take a look at what we've done in the pan room to get it ready for action. So one of the first things I need to do is I need to get shelf liner into this cabinet because I washed a bunch of glasses and I have nowhere to put them. So we're going to be doing this uh, cabinet first. I'm going to be putting my glasses in here and I think I'm going to be putting my plates in this one. I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure exactly where I should put my dinner plates. Um, because I have a lot of glasses, but I have a lot of dinner plates. So, hmm. Well, let me get at least some shelf liner down on this bottom one so I can start this process. I just put the first one in there and it was in a roll, so it's probably going to take it a minute to flatten out and stay down. When I put glasses in here, within a week or so, it'll probably be flat. Eric's measuring another one out here. So we need what? 10 and a half by what, Eric? 34 and a half. So I'm cutting the 34 and a half first so I can then cut to 10 and a half as a roll, as a smaller roll up. One of the reasons I got these solid clear ones is I've had ones in the past that they have like, I don't know, they have like this sponge kind of um, feeling to them. And they ended up just literally disintegrating. And I ended up with all this like little pieces of foam everywhere. It was awful. So I, um, we're doing this this time. We went to our little uh, local farmer's market or farm market. And I got some apricot uh, preserves. I got some black bean and corn salsa. And I got a little bit of local honey bear. Mm. Got a pie. <laughs> and a pie, but we ate that. I got some of these wheat dinner rolls. I want to make some, but, you know, I can't find my flour. And I got some chipotle bread. Uh, breaking news, we're uh, cutting the 10 and a half inches now. So that's kind of a weird way to do it, but hey. As long as she doesn't have to do it, she's happy. As long as I don't have to do it. All right, now. So. Looking good, bro. Uh, it should fit in there. I mean, it's probably gonna take a little bit for it to flatten out. Yeah, but it'll live. Put some dishes on it or something. Yeah. Yeehaw. So Eric trimmed it a little bit because it was a little wider. For some reason this shelf is a little wide, narrower. Well, this a is, half inch. Yeah, this is 10 and this is 10 and a half. This comes right up to this. But see there's, I can put my finger in between here. So I didn't count for that. So my bad. So next up we got one in here. Yay. Okay, yeah. Over time, it'll lay down. So this is what I've found so far. Um, we got a couple glasses in here. Obviously, this is gonna fill up more. We got some coffee cups. Uh, I've got those coffee cups. I got my little Le Creuset coffee cup. And I'm gonna put bowls up here. Um, obviously, this is all I've unpacked. I haven't found our other glasses yet, so. Um, I put dinner plates here. Salad plates are gonna go there and my uh, other bowls are going to go here. Um, 
and we'll watch this. I'll give you an update and let you know how long it took this stuff to flatten out. Um, yeah, so we'll do a flatten out update. Yay, I found some knives. These were out of like my sort of every day. There's my globe knives that I was using at the other house. So yay, I haven't found the holder that I put them in the drawer, but I did find some knives, which is a great thing because I have not had any knives to use since we've been over at the house. I also found an air fryer and a cup for my drinks, right? <laughs> an air fryer. So we're getting, starting to look good. So the pan room is coming together. Eric's in there vacuuming and we got the um, we got the blinds up and um, we're in the family room right now. Right now I have these things in here but and a pile of boxes. <laughs> um, so let's go in there and uh, see how it looks with the new blinds. Can I make my way through the sea of boxes? Ah! Breaking news. Breaking news. Dun, 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 dun. The blinds are in the pan room. So let's go in here and see what we got. We have a Magic Mix food processor sitting right here. I moved a couple of the racks over um, so we could get in here to see what we got going. Uh, let's see. So these are the blinds. Let me scoot this one here you, over. Do you want to see them in operation? Yeah. You did a beautiful job, Bill. Thank you. I love these. So we put in two inch slat blinds. They open and close. Very nice, Boo. And they just lift. Mm, yes. Oops. Right? Okay, I do not like those ones with the pull strings. Those things are a pain. Those look very nice, Bill. You did a very nice job. We got a nice view outside of the big yard. We're going to be planting up garden-like. Eric put another blind here. Same kind. Ooh. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Bill. So we're going to give these a quick pull down. Oh, yeah, those are good. So just... Very nice. And then if you want to close them, do a little room darkening in here. So these are the two inch slats, so they're a lot nicer than those cheap blinds. Um, these weren't super expensive. No, it's $34 each. Yeah. But, but you know, they don't have wear and tear on them. You know, you don't turn, try to raise, lower, and it just snaps the string off. Yeah. That's not fun, is it? Okay, so let's move this rack back up against the wall. Up against the wall. <sighs> we have some more uh, liners on here, so I'm only missing like two. Two. And I think I'll eventually move them around. Because some of these, if I'm going to put a mixer on a, um, a shelf, I might have to adjust the shelf to try to possibly get a little bit more room, particularly. This one actually has quite a bit of room in between there, but I don't know how I'm gonna adjust these shelves exactly where things are gonna be placed. So let's move this rack back over here. You guys want an outside of the room for perspective? Yeah. Outside looking in? Because obviously the Fall Mag is happy. Fall Mag is very happy. Imagine Mix is just waiting for his shot at getting up on a shelf. He wants on the shelf. 
and out of the box. Mm -hmm. Or does it want to stay open? It does, and I need to get um, I need to get some um, oh, door door. What are those things called? Uh, door stopper. Door stoppers. Well, we have a door stopper right here built in. That's your door stopper. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there we go. Pan room one is done. The only thing I'm gonna do is just give these shelves a nice wipe down. A wipe down and a load down, right? There we go. And boo. Boo. Oh. Don't forget the special lighting. We got to put in the lighting. These are daylight LEDs, so it's a bright white, 4,500 lumens. So we're going to be putting these up in the ceiling, but I'm not waiting for that. Oh, no. I'm going to unload now. No. I can work around anything she does in there, because you know Amy, when she puts her mind to it, she will get it done, <laughs> and it will be fabulous in there. Yes, it will. And then she'll blame me for lack of lighting. So. Yes. So, Cooks, what's up? It's Wednesday! The pan room. Oh, it's echoing. The pan room is ready to go finally. So this weekend we're gonna be loading it up. I'll show you some of the things I'm gonna do. I need to bap it out. I mean, obviously I got my gadgets over here. Got the H06 going there, knives going here. But I need to kind of map it out, like which mixers I'm gonna keep up here, which ones are gonna be in a prime area like Hanks and Bosch and all that. So this, will, this will be like all-star game. Vote for who you want in the pan room. Yeah, so which mixer should make it into the pan room? Obviously, Hanks are going in here, Bosch is going in here, Kenwood's going in here. Couple kitchen aids. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So yes, woohoo! We're ready to go. It's Wednesday. Have a great one. And while all this work is being done, the Faye Mag is just sitting here relaxing, right? <laughs> Don't relax too much, Faye Mag, because um, you're going to get into, you're getting into a uh, duty here pretty soon. Hi. What do you got to say for yourself, Bill? I didn't do it. Yes, you did. It's all your fault, not me. You did it.